Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I've got a great haul from mostly Goodwill and then also Saver. So we do now have two fully functioning Goodwills. For a while, one of our Goodwills was dwindling down, and the reason was they were moving locations. So now they have their new location ready to go, and I actually found something that's really awesome at that Goodwill, a few things at that Goodwill. So. Let's go ahead and first start with this giant blow mold right here in the front. This is one of these wonderful Christmas blow molds, like a candle, that's what it is, the candle. I just have the one, but it was only, oh, where's that price? There we go, it was only $3. So I think this is a great booth item. I'll put probably $15 on it in the booth and I don't think I'll have any problem selling it for that. So it's not terribly old, but that's really okay. This one is made by Union Products. So yeah, Union Products. Yeah, I think that'll be really good for the booth. It has like the little drippings on the top there. So there's that one. And then at that same Goodwill, okay, so the really awesome thing that I found at that new Goodwill is, I, I just can't believe I found them. These are wonderful dishes here at Stoneware. This is made by Fran, well, it just says Handcrafted Francesca 6153. So I've got these wider bowls right here. Nice big bowls. Three of those. Okay. And then I've got three what look like bread plates. I, I believe these are bread plates. Okay. So three of those. So each one of these different types of dish, they have a different face or design. And then I have four, four uh, dinner plates, I guess these are. These look like dinner plates to me. So I looked these up and they actually sell for about 10, 15, $20 per plate or per piece. So I'm gonna probably put, yeah, about $15 per on these. So I'm gonna sell all four plates as a set. So what is that? Uh, $60. So about $60 plus shipping on those. And then like the, the other pieces, I'll probably do somewhere between $12 and $15 each times, you know, three. So that's a pretty good money made. Oh, so these plates here, like the little salad plates were a dollar each. The dinner plates were $3 each. And the bowls were $2 each. These are just wonderful. There's no chips or cracks on them. I did check them over before I bought them. And I can't believe I found them. They're just so unique. Very, very cool. So I think those are the only two things I found at the new Goodwill. Yeah, it was, because I didn't have a cart. So I was like trying to carry everything around and uh, wasn't the best method. Then at Saver, no, yes, yeah, Savers, I found actually black depression glass black opaque glass so very very cool it's like a little tidbit kind of serving thing there are really really faint lines right here right there there's faint lines there and like a little diamond kind of a thing right there so this was only two dollars at savers i thought that was pretty cool so i will put this with the rest of my black glass because i do collect the odd pieces that I, odd pieces that i find of this and i think that'll be really fun so I won't be selling a black tidbit bowl. But at the, also at that Savers, oh, I did find all of these pheasant glasses. So quite a lot of glasses. For a while I have, I wasn't buying any glasses. I was so proud of myself. I was like, good job. You know, they're not the easiest thing to deal with. They're heavy. They're kind of a lot to, to ship, but I don't know. It's, I just couldn't pass them up. So I have three separate sets of these glasses, but they're all slightly different. So they're mostly of pheasants, which I, th I would imagine these are from the 70s, but they look to be in pretty good shape without any issues. We got this pattern here. So actually that's a duck, but we got these other birds flying. There's, I think that's a pheasant, right? So there's that one and there's like little wheat things. There's four of that design. And then there's this design right here really pretty colors and yeah i mean they're very similar though too if you notice but these are different so these two we got like the two guys down here and there is no duck on that one so four of those 
and then four of these where they're like brown and they're kind of mid-flight. Yeah, so isn't that strange? I guess they're, well, they are all made from the same manufacturer because they all carry the same like flock of birds kind of flying. But yeah, isn't that fun? So, oh, here we go. So what I paid, um, $3 and... $3. I paid $6 for all of those glasses. I think technically there was supposed to be another sticker on one of the sets. Oh, there it is. So maybe, okay. And $4. Ooh, that's not good. Well, I don't know. I, I could have sworn whenever she was uh, adding it up. I I don't know. I, I did not see the third. I thought there were only two. That's okay. So potentially I paid four. Uh, what is that? It's about a dollar a glass, let's put it that way. Okay, and they resell for about $5 a glass. That's kind of, a lot of glassware, most all of it, unless it's very collectible, is gonna sell for about $5, five, six dollars per glass, for the most part. So yeah, you just do that times however many you have, plus your shipping. And that's kind of a rough idea of what I do with glassware, like I said, unless it's very collectible. And most of the time glassware isn't. It's just kind of like the intrinsic, like, oh, that would look cute with our stuff. So um, the same thing with these birds. I'm gonna do $5. Set. So we're technically looking at $20 a set times three plus the shipping on those. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, I went to Goodwill. The Goodwill, the first, no. Well, one of the Goodwills that I usually don't find much at. And I actually did find a few things. I'm actually skipping around. So there are other savers things, but let me just show you this awesome bowl right here. It's in the bittersweet colorway. I love that. Look at that, beautiful. Has like the little hobnail kind of bubbles on there. This was only a dollar, wow. And there's no chips or cracks. I looked it over, it's just beautiful. It matches, see this little foot right here? There's like this little knob and then there's like the three, there's like the three feet. It matches my other one right over here. It could even be the same manufacturer. Well, I mean, obviously it is, look. It's the same bottom, but isn't that fun? So I for sure, I for sure had to buy it because I thought that was just a great, great price. So I'm gonna probably hang on to that one too. Um, oh, I, Goodwill, I also found this cute little bird right here. I didn't look it up yet, but the, there's like a tag and I think it says possibly Stangle Pottery. I'm not really 100%, I don't know much about Stangle. Uh, if there's even really a huge market right now for that, I'm not sure. But isn't that beautiful? It's really cute. I just like it because it's cute. Got the little bird in the nest and I love figurines and for 50 cents, I figured, why not? So definitely got that. Um, just as a figurine, I don't even know what make or brand it is, but as a figurine, uh, it's probably a $12 plus, plus shipping figurine. So around the $20 mark with the shipping included for something like this. It's super cute for that one. Uh, I did get some cats. I've been on a cat kick, cat kick lately. These are made by Homeco. Homeco is that brand that Home Interiors had from the 80s. 70s, but we have these white kittens here. They are so cute. I like the size of this one and it has lots of little kittens on it, so that's cool. As much as I buy kitten stuff, I'm actually allergic, so can't have a cat. And I'm not really a fan of cats, to be honest. They're kind of obnoxious. Dogs are much better. They're very loyal and yeah, cats just are very independent and they don't care about much of anything. So, <laughs> a little tangent. But yeah, the kittens, they're cute. Regardless, okay, so I also got this wonderful raccoon. This reminds me of Pocahontas, kind of. I think it's the wrong color, but it still, it's not adorable. It's one of these home, home painted ceramic pieces. Uh, it was $2, so there's that. And it is dated, no it's not, darn it, darn it. It's not dated, pah, well, my guess, 80s, probably the 80s. So isn't that cute? Really, really wonderful. Something like this, I would hope about $20 with shipping included. Maybe a tiny bit less. 
but I don't really find many raccoon things. So I was like, well, I'll get it. I'll see what happens. Uh, one thing I found that was really cool at Savers, and I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to get it or not. Luckily I did. I think it's kind of strange. It's kind of, it's, well, I don't want to say strange. It's very unique because these, these are not typical owl. Like that's not how you'd normally do an owl. So whenever I see something like this, I think of like a more artistic approach to it, which could mean maybe there's a collectible market out there. That said, I haven't really done the research to know who made these because it isn't marked. It does have a lot of weight to it. So there is weight to this piece and the painting is really well done. Now there is a chip, which was one reason why I couldn't decide how I wanted, where'd that chip go? Where'd you go? Oh, here it is. It's way over here. It's in the back right there. So I couldn't decide and it was priced at $5. Oh, oh, it does have a, okay. It does have a, a word. What does that say? K-O-U, no, K-O-U-C-H? Koosh, wait a minute. K-O, I actually can't read that at all. Kolish? Maybe it's Kolish, here. Right there, so if anybody can, can read that, I don't know what that says. If it's a brand name, it looks like there's a little copyright thing next to it. Maybe that's just a blemish. I don't know. This looks a lot better than any home painted ceramic thing I've ever seen. This is actually art pottery. It's not even ceramic. Like this is, anybody know? I'm just at a loss. I have no clue. I think it has potential to be, to, potential to be good though. Owl things are just collectible to begin with. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Five dollars, what can I sell it for? If it's like a nobody, if it's like a no name, I think still as much as $30 plus shipping because it is owls and it does have the size and it does look cool. If it does carry any other name or value to it beyond the appearance, well then that will just be better, I guess. But who knows? So yeah, we got those dishes done. I also bought, I don't know if I mentioned this, or maybe, I don't know, on the video. I went ahead and bought this little gumball machine. This is a booth item. Wouldn't be selling online because it's made in 1985. But it's one of these carousel brand gumball machines. And it's not broken. It looks like it is, but it's not. It just needs to be, the gasket needs to be put in place and then it needs to be tightened. But for $5, not bad. I'll probably put that in the booth for like 18 bucks and it will sell. I have a good record of selling gumball machines, so that's fine. Yeah, I'll just give it a little wipe down. I bet if I put some gum in it, it would even sell for a little bit more. Well, then that would cost me more money, wouldn't it? Well, I'll have to think about that. But So yeah, a little gumball machine. That'll do good for the booth. And then I did buy this, well, a basket full of vegetables, glass vegetables. So I still haven't even opened them up. Maybe I should do it right now. Uh, $6 I paid for all of those. Get the plates over. Oh, I didn't say, or maybe I did. Those plates the with the faces on them, these were made in 1996, 1997. Just one year. So, yeah. They're pretty desirable. And if you go to replacements.com on those plates and dishes, they only have a very small amount of what all they had offered the different kinds of things. They only have a small amount available. Like they don't have any dinner plates. They don't might have, I don't think any bowls or anything like that. So yeah. Okay. This is a glass blown apple. These are booth items. I just figured I could put like three, four dollars on each one of these and they should fly out the door. Otherwise, um, they do sell online. Okay, well, that one looks kind of weird. Corn cob. It looks weird because it seems like something's missing right there. It's a little rough too. So there's that corn cob. The corn cobs, and this one's smaller than I'm used to seeing. Oh, and it's chipped. Nope, oh, that's about useless. I'll still stick it in the booth. Maybe somebody will want it for like $2. You know, if you're gonna put a basket of those kind of things, you wouldn't see it necessarily. There's a green bell pepper. That one looks to be in good shape. So that's like a four or five dollar vegetable. Then we have a yellow, what do you call that, a banana pepper? One of those. 
These are plastic, plastic grapes. Got that one. And then another green pepper. Oh, here's one of these. I like these kind because they look fun. A little jalapeno pepper, I guess it would be. And then there's another red apple and a green pear. So, I mean, there's potential for like, let's say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30, let's just say 30. $30 and I spent six. Not bad. Not bad. If there's, it's probably more than $30. I just like to round down as much as I can. Okay, so, oh, there's a couple things I forgot. So, um, I also went to the antique mall where I have three booths in and I bought this little cat right here. Now, I have been looking at him for a while and I just never pulled the trigger, but for $10, I finally did. So, it's a wonderful, look at this. Look how weird that is, huh? Very, very unique. So, this is made by M-A-N-N -N Man. Similar to like Lipper and Lipper and Man or Lipper Man, Lipper and Man. And I think there's some, some, uh, Seymour Man. That's another one. But I don't, I tried looking this up. I can't find anything like it, so... Hard to come by, but I paid $10 for it. Let me show you up close what it really, so it's like the ceramic and it has like this brown into cream, really cool. No chips or anything. And here's the logo on the back, it just says man, the little copyright. So it's a professional studio, or it's a professional ceramic piece. Really fun. Uh, I paid $10, I would hope that this one would sell for about 30 plus shipping. So like $45, $44 or so, like total. I think that would be pretty good. This is definitely unique. So I don't know when you're gonna find another one like that. I'm glad I bought it. The last thing I wanted to show in this haul is something that I actually own and I've had hanging on the wall for since October of 2016. It was uh, an item I purchased on Etsy for $160. I decided that I want to go ahead and sell it. So it's one of these wonderful Starburst clocks. You plug it into the wall and it works well. Uh, we just didn't have it plugged in for a while, but it is very, very cool. So it has like these walnut kind of things on here and then it's brass with the little balls on it. I tell you, I remember looking so long for a Starburst clock that, really, that I really liked because I have kind of a picture in my head of what a Starburst clock should look like. And this is it for me. So I'm so happy, that I was so happy to find this one and I've had it hanging on the wall for enough time and we just weren't using it. So I think it's just really, really fun. Paid 164 with shipping included. I'm gonna sell it for about that with shipping included. And I think it's just really, really cool. I'll show you up close. Uh, it does have some wear to the brass, which is quite usual. And, uh, but look how beautiful the wood is. Oh, it's just wonderful. So it's just time to sell it, make room for new things and new old things, not new things. Uh, the plug's in great shape. I think it's pretty much original. I, mm, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much original. That looks like a 60s plug to me. I was just reading the back. But anyways, I think that's really fun and that will go on Etsy. So that's cool. I think I got through everything that I wanted to, so that's really fun. Anyways, I had a great time at the Goodwill, the two Goodwills and the Savers. I've been hitting Savers a lot more recently. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm, st I'm finding things, so I, I guess I'll continue to go. But, and that said, I did, I did get the glasses. I don't know. It's fine. Glasses, they're, they're fun to get in moderation, right? It's like, I, I, gotta, I gotta do it every now and again, otherwise I'll get upset and sad that I'm not buying any glassware. Anyways, hopefully you liked all that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.